So we're just finishing up Gable Pass, Slide Lake, Lee Ridge, just kind of all three of those. Um, yeah, it's a sweet little area starting from the Chief Mountain um, area. And um, you start out and I decided to go drop into the Belly River first. And um, so you drop about a thousand feet, kind of going through some trees and everything um, until I don't know, for a couple miles, then it starts to break out into some really just sweet open meadows and you know, you're staring ahead at, you know, Merritt and just, and Gable to your left and just some really sweet tall peaks and just really loving that kind of stuff. And um, yeah, just a really off the beaten path sort of a place. And just as you keep getting closer and closer, the views just keep getting better and better. And, um, you know, of course, nice, um, meadow flowers and such and I'm coming a little bit late into this area so not getting as many but I can definitely tell there were a lot earlier um, but yeah coming up to um, the Belly River Ranger Station and, um, and that's kind of where I peel off and it's just a really cool um, I, I think it's probably one of the busier um, well I don't know if it's busier but it's I think it's kind of one of those ranger stations that receives a lot of administrative work just because it's one of the few administrative places this far north and on the east side. And, um, but anyways, but that, um, but that's when you break off. And I'm gonna tell you, the trail from the Belly River up to Gable Pass is brutal. It's um, definitely a lot of work to get up there. Um, the, first, the first, I don't know, 1,500 feet or whatever it is, is just really steep. It's in the trees, it's not, it's, um, it's just a lot of work. Um, but man, once you start breaking out into the trees, you start to get views of like Cleveland and, and, um, and Gable. And of course, the more you get up there and stuff, it just keeps looking better and better. And the views just, getting, just start getting cooler and cooler. And you follow this ridge that keeps lying to you. And, and finally, you make it up to the intersection of Lee Ridge. And you know, that I can't say enough about just the views that you have from, from Lee Ridge, you know. Uh, as you're coming up to it, you have Chief Mountain starting to poke up over the edge, and it's such an iconic, powerful mountain, and it, it, it just looks really great. So, I mean, anytime you have Cleveland on one side and uh, Chief Mountain on the other, it's a, it's a good day. And um, anyways, so then I went down and dropped into Slide Lake, which is, I think, about 1,200 feet down in a couple of miles. And... Uh, that is that is steep and so coming out of that's a little bit a little bit uh, of work but man it, there's it's really cool because you work as you're coming down you end up coming across a bunch of this um, limestone or whatever kind of scree fields where there's a t these boulder fields where there's a bunch of pikas and pikas are super cool they're the smallest of the rabbit family and they're just neat little um, critters had you know, definitely not one of those squirrels or anything like that. So, um, but yeah, they just hop around on the rocks and gather their food and um, just cheap at you, which is pretty fun. But anyway, so you finally make it on your way down to Slide Lake and Slide Lake is um, kind of two lakes. The first lake is that you come to is, is a bigger one. It's got a nice waterfall at the other end. And, uh, but the campground is actually at the smaller one and both of them are just, you know, really pretty and just right at the base of Yellow Mountain. And it just kind of has that cool, and it just shows you that all these different rocks and there's so many different types of rock and glacier can really change the way a place looks. And so this is no exception. Um, you can also access Slide Lake through a 1.4 mile from the boundary trail. Um, that is, you've got to drive through quite the road across Blackfeet land and all that kind of stuff. So um, while it may be easier on foot, it's harder to get there. I think it's like seven and a half miles to get to that trail. So a little bit of work there, but, um, but just another option for you. And um, anyway, so yeah, so I came back up to the, to the top and, and um, just enjoyed the views. And this time the sun was hitting Chief Mountain and, and everything, so that was pretty fun. And anyways, then you just start walking out Lee Ridge and what a fantastic walk. Um, you know, you have about two and a half miles of just epic views all the way around and um, the tundra kind of creates this uh, striation, like almost stepping down. And, um, you know, you just, you know, if you're coming up from Lee Ridge, it's super beautiful. Um, and then of course, you know, as you get close to the road, it starts to get more and more treed and, um, you know, until it gets pretty, pretty socked in. But my goodness, um, great, great country. Um, a really uh, fun loop. 
is uh, if you do do the Belly River and come up to the come up to Lee Ridge and then walk that out, especially if you want to climb Chief Mountain. And uh, but pay attention, I believe. Um, a lot of that kind of stuff, if, if you're going to be on any Blackfeet land, so make sure your path, see if it crosses that, um, you're going to need a $10 conservation permit. So anyways, that's your little public service announcement. Anyway, that's my uh, review of the Gable Pass, Lee Ridge, and Slide Lake. Um, had a really good time. It was a lot of work, super remote, and um, but, but really great. So that's the three of them.